My name is Karen Farrell, and I'm a senior here. It's actually great that I'm going right after Chuck because I worked out at the same company, out at SRS and with SRNS, and kind of gave you a background of what both of those companies are. And I worked for my um, individual company was with Process Control, and my main project was the Eater project. This other one, right across. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And so this is the Eater project. These were their um, two main machines that they used. And Eater stands for the International Thermonuclear Experiments Reactor, and it's the Latin way for the way. Um, it's an international nuclear fusion project, and it's all over the uh, world. It's in China, India, Japan, Korea, Russia, and the United States. And the actual ITER machine is being constructed in South France, and it should be created in, or completed in 2018. Um, the machine is a tomacac, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. But basically what it is, is you're taking two um, gaseous mixes, which is deridium and tritium, and when they, um, the two hydrogens form together, they are brought to a temperature of 2,000 degrees, and they create huge amounts of energy. And I would love to tell you exactly what this does, but I'm not an engineering major, which I had to remind them a lot, but this is their main machine that they had out there, and this is what's gonna be completed at, at the end of 2018. And the next picture is, this is the um, actual slate that it's gonna be um, placed on in France. So the benefits of this project to uh, process control is that when these hydrogens fuse together, they make huge amounts of energy, which is you can compare it to like when the sun and the stars make energy. So basically this whole project is they're trying to find ways of providing enough energy in a clean and safe way. And it's all throughout the um, world. So many different nations are coming through with their expertise in science and in technology to make this energy in a safer way to make you know, it better for the world. And so the main contract they made was a contract between ITER and you know, SRNS with process controls. There were six deliverables and 10 tasks that were to be to completed. And with each task, there was documents. And the documents that, would, that they had, they had to be cross-referenced, so each one had to have an original, a PDF, and a proof of document control. And this is where mine and my other intern, um, our job came in. We came into about a Excel, it was an Excel sheet, and it had over 2,000 documents in it. And like I said, I'm not an engineering major, so I would open it up and I had absolutely no idea what it was saying. But we had to categorize them into three different types of um, categories, which was the new scope documents, because there was another part of the project, the internal documents, which were the documents that they used for the project, but they just used them for their references. They didn't go out anywhere. And then the external deliverable and task documents, which were the documents that they used for those 10 tasks. And once they were all completed, they were gonna have to be send them out. So that means um, they had to have those original, the PDF and the export control to prove that they were able to set them out. So we went through and we um, were able to make the 2,000 documents into a list of about 300. And we were able, as you can see, this was our Excel. We were able to name the description of it, the document number that it had, and which deliverable and which task that it went through. So that took a while, but you know, after kind of messing around with it, we were able to figure out what goes to where. So that helpful. And then we also um, made folders for it. When we first got it, it was in this huge folder. They were in a bunch of different folders. They had different names. So we went through, found which ones were copies, and then made a complete file so they could go to, say they wanted to find um, for deliverable six. So they would go to the external document task, then they would go to the deliverables, and they found that it was deliverable six, and then these were all the documents that go for that deliverable. So it was made it a lot easier for them. Um, so I would say the main benefit for the company that me and my other intern gave them was lots of organization. Um, like I said, when we began, the files were in so many different places. If you wanted to go find it, it could take days or weeks to find just one simple file. And then once we were done with all the files, we put it all on one CD. So anytime they needed to go back to that, um, project, all they had to do is they knew exactly where it was, they could go to each folder and find it within, you know, two or three minutes. And um, when you have a document, especially at SRNS, or SRS, a lot of it's confidential. For instance, I made this part of this PowerPoint when I was there, and in order for me to get the PowerPoint off, I had to go through a whole bunch of different people and be, go through export control to make sure there was nothing 
confidential or anything that could go out of it. So if they needed any of these documents to be sent out to anywhere else outside of the site, they have to go through a process. So this just made it so much easier. And my experience, I became a lot more knowledgeable with Microsoft applications because these files were in Word and PowerPoint, um, Excel, Access. So I kind of had to learn how to, you know, either transfer out of PDFs or put them in PDFs. Um, I was able to learn about the Eater project. I'm still not an expert at it. I couldn't really tell you exactly what it does, but it was kind of cool. The fact that Savannah Riverside's right in our backyards to know what they're doing out there. And the main thing I learned was that when you're doing a project, you have got to be organized because this project had been going on for four or five years and they just would throw stuff everywhere and it just made it a big mess. So I know now like when I'm working on projects, if you go ahead and start and be organized from the beginning, then it will like benefit you in the future. Any questions?